Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing great. This is Dr. Jyoti Bala. In this session, we are going to discuss a very significant topic which many of my students and young researchers often ask. As you know, the mostly the undergraduate, the masters and young PhD students are very keen to publish their first research articles, review article and proceeding. So what are the ways can we really publish these articles at that level? What are the factors and what is the best and the effective approach to get those things? So I will be sharing my experiences with that especially when I was student, how I got my publications and when I was teaching, how my student has got these publications. So let's start the session. As I mentioned in my previous videos also, that if we are from science background, either engineering, biosciences, biology, life sciences, biotech, chemistry and so on, we all require research article at different stages, whether we are student, faculties, industry professional, scientists, for our study abroad program, fellowship, scholarship, for our grants and for our promotions, for our innovations and so on. So we all require research articles, publications and publication in terms of not only articles, but review and proceedings also. So in my past videos, I have already made two videos where I have uh, guided you how you can write a research article and also review article and what are the differences between these things. So if anyone who is beginner and who have missed watching that video, I am requesting you to watch that video. It is really very useful. I will be putting the link of those videos in the description section. So once you know what is review article, what is research article, how you can write, Things are easier, whether you are student or scientist. With If we are scientists, if we are faculties, we have few experience while writing those things. But yes, for student level, it's a bit challenging, not challenging, but a bit tedious in terms of because you have to, re you have to understand scientific reading, writing, you have to do certain tasks, get the good result. And based on that, you get your research article. In case of review article, you have to read, you have to write, you have to understand the subject area. So I request you to watch that video first. Here I wanted to emphasize one thing, quality and quantity matters a lot. Many students, especially the young student, think that we require a lot of uh, number of papers in terms of uh, quantity. But in scientific community, actually quality of your publication, whether you are writing a proceeding, abstract or research article, that matters a lot. If you will uh, compare subject wise also, in few subjects uh, like engineering, chemistry, the numbers of publication what you get is a bit higher than your uh, basic biology, biotechnology and bio biology. In biology, biotech also, if you are doing wet lab based experiments and dry lab, things will vary. So depending on what kind of experimentals you are, you are going to perform, whether that is a statistical based analysis or computational based analysis or whether you are writing review, Timelines will vary and in which journals you are submitting. So number of impact factors, the quality of journal, quality of data, these, these, things, uh, these things are very significant point. So you cannot compare every time that, okay, uh, that student or that faculty from this sector is getting 30 papers and why we are getting three papers. With that three paper of quality papers, you can get a lot of achievements and a lot of opportunity if you are data are good if your publications are good and maybe you are from different backgrounds so it varies so in this session we are especially focusing for biology life sciences bio it and uh, biotech sector so let me discuss my research experience related to publications when I was student, especially uh, graduation level and master level, that time I didn't have any publications, but my all papers came related to my PhDs and postdoc and later on when I was doing my mentoring. So most of my publications came after my viva of PhD and after joining my postdoc, which I have uh, 
got related to different areas like uh, applied molecular biology, aftermore, cancer biology, virology, and nanotechnology related papers. I wanted to emphasize my example because many students, as I mentioned, they think that publication is really very important. But see, uh, my papers related to PhD came later on when I did my viva and when I have joined actually my postdoc and I joined a very renowned director's lab in Japan. So I have mentioned uh, that video how I got that postdoc without my publication and all. Do check out that video also. So here I wanted to convey one message and i want to demystify that thing that quality uh, like quantity uh, many people think that quantity matters actually the hiring committees and these uh, professors they actually want to see whether you really know the topics you know the project you know the experiment you are really keen to join that lab so that's the reason i was giving my example also and all my phd papers also came after my viva and during that period, I got four international travel award also. So I presented my work in uh, USA, UK, Germany and Japan also. So you can get all these perks without papers also. Papers came uh, during my PhD and postdoc also. It's not like that I didn't get papers. I got very good papers. But here quality matters actually. Okay. So this thing I wanted to highlight. And when I was teaching my student, I make sure that my graduate, masters and PhD student get good paper. So by mentoring and by training, I taught them how to read scientific literatures, how to design their synopsis, how to design their projects and how to do independent projects and how to document scientific reviews and articles and how to publish these things so my student got good papers also recently book chapters review article and research article also so if any one of you are interested in collaboration or maybe getting in training they can get in touch with me uh, you can mail me your cvs okay as I mentioned that I do have experience in publications in renowned journals. I have trained and mentored many students and young researchers also. And I am the part of editorial and editorial committees as editor and associate editor in many journals also. So for that purpose, for mentoring, for collaboration purpose, you may contact me. Now let's ask whether as a student, undergraduate, master or PhD student, especially young PhD student, can we publish these research article, review articles and proceeding? The answer is yes, no doubt. But things will be a bit challenging and a bit tedious for young student. Why I'm saying that? I'm not discouraging you, but I'm, I wanted to show you the reality. So we should be better prepared, like how we can cope with these challenges. As I mentioned in my previous slide that we are discussing especially related to biology sector and in biology we made experiment in two three ways like completely wet lab dry lab combination of wet and dry lab experiment or survey based. So things will vary in these three sets. So obviously if we are performing wet lab experiment then you have to design your project, you have to perform your experiment, you have to get your data. Data should be significant data. It should be statistically validated also. And once you got the relevant data, then only we can produce and we can publish. And while writing these things and while submitting these things for publication, there is a processor of reviewing and that takes time. Sometimes the editorial committees ask us to perform additional experiments also. Sometimes you got rejection acceptance based on the quality of data. So in wet lab, things are a bit lengthy and challenging, no doubt. In case of survey based and a dry lab things, things are easier because if you know the techniques, if you know the tools and it's your supervisor or some mentors are guiding you within a limited time frame, you can get a decent paper. I'm not saying that you are going to get a highly impactful papers within the five, six months of frame. It's not possible, especially if you're a student, if you're a young student, because scientific reading, writing and doing these things take a certain level of experience. So if I, I will show you 
very fancy uh, uh, like uh, uh, lie picture i don't want to uh, explain you here i want to show you the reality you can publish but it is like you require hard work also time will be required and within 5 6 month and 1 years duration you like in one year you still can get decent paper but within 4 6 month in wet lab things are bit challenging i will tell you how still you can get publications so let's discuss that part so the best way will be start with the review writing get a idea about a topic which you are interested in or maybe in near future you want to explore or work in start reading the research articles related to that topic and then make a structure of your review uh, review article and write those things make few figures story of that review article get the collaborations or mentoring from your supervisors and seniors and submit in a decent uh, uh, publications house for internship purpose either you can go for free internship paid one or with collaboration you can take the help from your supervisor deans and directors of your lab your mentor can help or for industrial purpose you can either approach us or there are many other industrial uh, companies who provide such services but make sure that you are not uh, falling in a trap of uh, false people because there are a lot of people who provide you predatory journals and false publication don't get in those trap you should get a quality papers you have to uh, always understand you don't need lot of quantity one paper will do justice but the quality of that publication should be high the third thing will be proceeding so suppose you individually also can approach the professor write a decent professional a mail approach them that you are interested in exploring such techniques and a project what is really ongoing in that lab and you want to get the ideas so in that way you can get associated with that lab and once you have started your project once you have participated in that project try to send these things in proceeding and conferences i have made one video where i have shown you how you can get international travel award and how you can participate in these conferences so i myself has presented my work in cambridge university uk japan germany and usa so you can get and uh, get the ideas from that video also so accordingly plan these are the few ways by which you can get very easily publication but yes you have to do some hard work also you should have some patience also and don't get in trap of predatory journals publish in high quality high impactful journal good luck from my side i hope you have found this video and information relevant if you have liked the session i kindly request to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor if you have any queries or if you want to do collaboration or get training in scientific writing or if you want to publish you can contact me you just have to send me your interest email and cvs thank you so much